Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to connect a Wiimote to your Android device. I'm going to be testing it on a Zoom. Um, this works um, for a lot of devices, but you know um, th there has been bugs and reports that it does not work on uh, HTC Sense devices and some Samsung devices. So uh, please note that. But this app is free, so if you have a Wii controller, you can test it out, see if it works, and it won't cost you anything. So the uh, remote I'm using is called the Wiimote controller. Um, and basically, it, it actually adds an input method to your Android device. So when you install it and run it for the first time, it will ask you if you want to add this uh, input device. Um, it will take you to um, the settings. And uh, if you go to language and input, you can see in the input method selector, oops, current input method, excuse me, you can see that I set Wii Controller IME as the new kind of uh, input. So if you wanted to go back and using the keyboard and everything, you would, you would switch back. So, you know, it's a little switch, but, uh, you know, for free, you know, what more can you ask for? So when you start back that app up to connect, um, all you have to do is in the back of your device, there's that red sync button. Click on, on the Wiimote and, you know, it blinks. Just like you would connect to a Wii, you just press and turn this app, Initiate and Connect button. It will search, connect, and plug. And then you'll see is the indicator. There it is. It's, it takes up the first slot and we're connected. So, um, there you go. Now the Wii remote is connected, the Wii remote is connected to your device. Um, it doesn't just work, though, for your emulator there's a couple things you need to do so let's just uh, start up a device let's go to the options down on the bottom left go into settings and then if you go into input settings you have to do key mapping so this is where I kinda got lost and so you know there's the analog left right up and down I just assumed once the uh, device was bonded it will work by default in um, in all the emulators, but that is not true. You know, some of the navigation, some of the buttons work, but not all of them work. And the enable of them, you just go to the key mapping, and since you created this as an input method and set it as the input method, you, all you have to do is then go and then click on those buttons, and so analog left, so you just do left on the, on, on the gamepad. Analog right, analog up, analog down, D-pad down, left, right, up, A, B, and so you can customize which buttons fire which on the N64 controller, and then once you're done, um, you go to other, oh, excuse me, you go to other settings, this is the N64 um, OID app, by the way, um, it, it, it works in any of the emulators that support con Bluetooth controllers, and then you just enable special input device Bluetooth gamepad. Once that's done, we are ready. And I put start as the home, so start should just start it up. And then you can see I can control the analog beautifully. And uh, A to select. And the Wii remote is working in my N60 OID app. You know, I have, a, I have an overview of the N60 OID app, so if you want to check that out, please uh, check my channel out. Please subscribe to my channel. I do daily updates for um, the Zoom and videos regarding different apps, even paid apps like the N64 OID app, so you don't have to pay before you see it in action. So um, please subscribe, please like if you thought this was good, and if you didn't like it, please leave comments. I want to improve this for everyone. Thank you so much, and have a great day.